what is going on everybody welcome back to our channel max good tech you are watching series wireless census networks this is a quick video on showing the practical applications of wireless census networks in real world scenarios the first and the very interesting one was a research project carried out by some fellow students and professors at Princeton university was about tracking animals behavior and movements on timely basis over a long period of time it was inspired by after biologists wanted to observe the interactions of species within their own kind, interactions between the species and their impact on human development. Since species they tracked were zebras and hence the name of the project ZebraNet. The controller was designed to interact with other zebra controllers using GSM technology on peer-to-peer -peer protocol and was powered by solar energy. The first biological result was zebras were not used to of wearing the fancy necklace over their neck. So they got irritated on the initial days but they got used to it on later days. It was interesting to note that all zebras appeared to explore more wooden areas and gullies at the night. From engineering point of view it was discovered that the radio controller range was within one kilometer and the communication protocol worked quite well as expected. You can read more details about this interesting project on the internet. Census nodes are deployed to study the environment. When census networks were not around, the environment scientists had to go deep in the fields and face the harsh conditions each time they find the need to record the new observations. As you can see on the picture to the left, the scientist used a winch to reach the top of the portion of the trees and record their measurements manually. But these results were not conclusive because of the fact that their measurement would be at particular time of the particular day. And using just one sample of the reading, it is indeed hard to judge how the climate would progress throughout that particular day. But with wireless census network, the scientists can not only gather frequent data but also with much layered ease. Monitoring the microclimate throughout the volume of redwood trees helps form a sample of the entire forest. In the same way, wireless census network has allowed us to monitor the conditions of harsh environment like windy and permafrost areas. Scientists understand the process that connects climate change and rock falls in such areas. As a result, Hazard surveillance and warnings can protect people's life. Picture in front of you is quite self-explanatory. We can install multiple sensors with certain range to allow automating reporting of fire warnings on remote areas. Solar panels and using directional radio antennas directly towards the base station or intermediate nodes can help increase the communication range and reduce the overall power consumption of the devices which then allows the devices to last longer on the remote fields. Large infrastructures like dams, buildings and bridges as shown can now be equipped with tiny sensor nodes that can measure the structure's health like measuring each cable's force and tension, resistance, temperature, vibration, etc. Installing sensors that can track the number of vehicles on the road can allow us to calculate the average traffic load which can help us to warn and alert the weightage limitation of the structure. And here comes everyone's favorite application. So individuals can install a web of sensors and actuator nodes to monitor and control the condition and the activities of their home by installing centralized management unit also known as gateway node to control temperature, light intensity, air, humidity, etc. Source and intermediate nodes can send alerts to the central unit which could also allow users to set a light ambitions to night mode, disco, koozie and some other user defined modes. Gateway nodes can then forward the data over the internet allowing users to remotely access their home. The list of wireless census network application can go on to the millions. So let us look at the economic forecast based on the different domains with respect to time. According to the Jane Perry report, we can see that the adoption of our sensor network has grown tremendously over the time. People have started showing interest in utilizing this technology in their everyday life, whether it's for industrial monitoring, building monitoring and control, home automation, 
meter readings, environment monitoring, etc. That is all for this video. In the next one, we are going to look at the core topics involved in wireless census networks. And also, as always, if you like this content, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you are new to this channel. This is going to keep us motivated to bring such useful stuff to you guys in the future. So I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.